Um, this is the carb from my friend's KLR250. And this is the intake for the fuel. What it's normally meant to be is uh, there's this brass piece that's pressed in. There's a plastic over moulded part with a barb coming off uh, for the fuel line. Um, they're quite a bad design and they seem to break quite often. As you can see here where the breather is, um, it also had the same thing and it's it's also broken. So what I'm going to do is try and make a replacement part um, that gets pressed into here and has a barb coming off for fuel line to attach to. So here's what I've just made, basically you've got this part which presses into the carb and then this part here which just needs to be soldered on, um, so I'm going to do that next. What I'm going to do is tin this and then drop that into here, heat it and maybe add a little bit more solder around the joint and we'll see how that comes out. So I've just given it a little clean off, um, it looks alright, it's not brilliant, a little bit messy but um, as long as it doesn't leak then I'm happy. So what I'm going to do now is test it by hooking it up to a bike pump, I'm going to put my thumb over the other end, I'm just going to put it under water and put a bit of pressure in there and see if it, see if it leaks. Alright, there's about... 60 psi in there at the moment and there's no leaks and there's no bubbles coming out and then if I let go then loads of air should come out yep so I've made a few of these um, because as far as I know you can't buy anything that is a suitable replacement I think you can get these ones um, from some Harley carbs or something but as far as I know these you can't get so what would happen now is um, I think a little bit of like liquid PTFE or something on there and then it would get pressed in um, I'm not going to do that I'm going to leave that for uh, my friend to do who this is for and um, I'll report back if there's any problems but I think they'll be fine <laughs> 